Hi there, it's Donna from Taffy Crafting. This is the third time I've tried to record this video and if anything else goes wrong, I'm just going to carry on. Um, so I did start to make this video and then I got a phone call and then lost the video. Um, and then I tried to do it again and then actually couldn't speak. So I'm just going to go for it. This is the next part in my series of videos with regard to the cards that I'm making for swaps for two teams. Firstly for my own team of my lovely lovely ladies and also of um, my uplines team. Um, so we're all doing swaps so I'm quite glad it's all happening in one go and I'm making two at a time. So just to remind you I've um, you've seen the joy fold card that I call a flip-flop card and this card don't know what they're called but you've got that. So this one, I don't know what this is called either, it's just another fancy fold card, they don't have to have names. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make that. Now it is already part made, but it doesn't matter, we can, um, we'll can we be able to get through that and still be able to show um, how to make the card, so don't worry about that. All of the measurements are going to be in a blog post and the link to that blog post is in the description bar below, so just head over to that. And finally, before I get going, if you're not already a subscriber and you like nice, simple paper crafting tutorials and ideas and inspiration, please come and um, subscribe to my channel um, and see if you like what we're doing and, and share with me what you're making. I'd love to hear if you craft along with me. Anyway, all that aside, let's get on with this. Let me show you how to put this together. It is so easy. Start off with a piece of basic white cardstock. It doesn't actually have to be white. It can be any colour you like. Um, I've cut this to UK A4 sizes. Most of the sizes, certainly all of the crafters that I watch, a lot of them are American um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but their A4 sizes are different to UK sizes. So um, some of the videos that I've seen, some of the tutorials that I've seen have been uh, four and a quarter by 11. That doesn't really quite fit with our A4. So I've just changed that up slightly and I've got a piece of cardstock here that is four and an eighth by 11 and a half. Um, but if you are using A4, US A4 cardstock, then you might want to do this four and a quarter by 11. And I am scoring my piece of cardstock at two and seven eighths and at five and three quarters. And if you're using US cardstock, then you would be scoring that at two and three quarters and five and a half. I can't remember. I've remembered all of that without even writing it down. Um, I'm using the Your Peach DSP. I really love this. I don't necessarily like every single image that's on here, but I really like this collection of DSP, especially that. I love those muted tones of Calypso Coral and Garden Green Early Espresso. I love it. I just think they're beautiful. There's some mango melody going on in there as well. Nice balmy blue stripes. Balmy blue and white and a real peachy um, image. Got some polka dots, some more peaches. Look at this garden green, love um, love that green. We've got a smaller, so I'm using um, the bigger um, design of this. this. These are slightly smaller flowers with the balmy blue, the garden green. More peaches, and then this ditzy peach look. Love that. So they are my, that is your peach. So one of those images was stripes. I can't remember what was on the back of that one. I've got it over here. So that's another balmy blue and some green going on there on the white. Okay, so that, he, uh, that piece here measures uh, five and a half by three and three eighths. Again, all of the dimensions will be on the on the blog. And then I've got this piece of card. That's not the right piece of card. I've got another piece of card for that, for the inside. There it is. Now I've already stamped it. I did this on the last video. Um, I have already stamped it and I'll show you what I've stamped it in. I've used 
artistically inked brand new stamp set for this brand new catalogue that launched at the beginning of May and I've used this happy birthday sentiment fits quite nicely on there and there's still room to write a message. Now I wanted a flower to go on here and I wanted to stamp it in Calypso Coral but I've had to use an old stamp set. I couldn't find a flower that I really liked and I went for that. I love that flower. Um, and it's really easy to fussy cut if you're going to fussy cut it and, and colour it in as well. But I've just stamped that on there. Just wanted to put a little bit extra colour in there. Now on my last video before I had to ditch it, um, my glue pot misbehaved. Well, it didn't misbehave. I didn't treat it properly. So embarrassed. I left the... So ashamed rather that I left the top off. Always put the top on your glue when you walk away from it. I'm going to have a good old tidy up in a minute. I've made a bit of a mess because I've got home from work and just went straight to my craft space. Disperse all that glue underneath just by spreading it like that. So there's the inside of our card. Now, that is also the inside. That's going to fold over like that. And that is the outside. And I have two pieces of Pear Pizzazz DSP. This is out of the Subtles DSP. And I just love how these colours go together. Not necessarily two colours that I would instinctively put together, but actually I think they go really well. And it's just to break the white up. I didn't do it on the last card. And I didn't think it was wrong, but I just wanted to do something different. White is lovely as a stark contrast to whatever else you've got going on in the card. And you do what you think you like. Don't you know, stick to your own creativity. Don't, don't make something just because you think those two colours are going together. It really is nice to experiment. I'm going to put that one on there as well. that on the other side which is quite nice and let's just get that so that's going to be our front and I'm not going to decorate these anymore personally I don't think it's necessary that's what I want to stick with but you might want to stick some flowers on there you might want to fussy cut some of some of these flowers and stick them on it's totally up to you So that's going to fold over like that. Now the next thing we need, I've got a piece of basic white cardstock. And I'll tell you what this measures. And I don't think you need to change the size of this just if you're using USA4 or if you're using UKA4. I don't know if there's a European um, or the rest of the world equivalent. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Um, this card for my card measures five inches by three inches. And I think you could use that. You know, there was no scientific calculation as to what that was going to be. I just got a piece of white card and just cut it to three inches by five inches, stuck it on top like that and thought, yeah, that works. We'll go with that. And then I've got this piece of DSP, so it's got the blue stripe on the back. So it's still from the Yora Peach. And I'm going to put that on there. I just love the mix of the Pear Pizzazz and the Calypso Coral. I would never have put those together, ever. It's really good to experiment. And Calypso Coral and... Um, Pear Pizzazz are in the Subtles collection. Oh, I just stick my finger in that glue there. I wasn't paying attention. I've got sticky fingers. I'll put that on there and I'm going to decide in a moment what way round I want that. So the DSP that I've got there is two and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I'm going to have it that way round. 
And what I'm going to do is put some glue on the back of this, just on that part, and then stick that there. So I'm just going to work out where that is. And then what I'm going to do is put that on there so that you know also this is going to cover up that sentiment behind. So I'm just going to eyeball that, get that in the right position. You can measure it if you want to. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think anybody is going to get a ruler out when they receive this card and check that you've got it central. Now, I need to decide now, I want to put a sentiment on the front and I do... I do really like that heart that's just at a little bit of a, a jaunty angle. I don't, I've got a lot of garden green on my desk. And I don't know if garden green, well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. We'll see what it looks like. I'll punch it out if I can find my punch. I can see the plain one. Oh, there it is. And we'll see what it looks like. I don't mind that, I think, because it's slightly darker. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I'm going to go with it. I think I'm going to go with it. It's either that or have a white heart. Oh, now I don't know. wish you had, I had you in the room with me and you can say oh yeah that looks okay no that's just lost I am going to go with that garden green I'm going to go with that now I'm going to use also out of artistically inked I'm going to use the best wishes sentiment let's get that on my block and I'm going to stamp that again in garden green. Now, hopefully that will fit. If not, I'm going to have to find another piece of white cardstock. I love the font of that. Absolutely love it. I think it's just a lot of fun. So I've got the plain edge. So these hearts come in a duo pack. You get two. Fit that in there. And then I'm just going to just move that about until I'm happy with its location in that heart. Yeah, let's go with that. Otherwise, I'll be moving that about forever. And using mini dimensionals, which is somewhere on this desk. There they are. And I'm just going to stick a few of these. I never use the full size. I always use the minis. Don't know why. Then just get that central on there, which is difficult for me to see with without putting my without putting my head in front of the camera. Oh, that's not right. Oh no, that's fine. That'll do. It'll be fine. Get my card and put some more dimensionals on the back here. I'm going just to, going to pop that in the corner there like that. So now I have two more cards for my swaps. So we have that. And we have that. 
I'm really happy with those. I'm happy how they've turned out. I love the mix of the green with the Calypso coral. I've never mixed green with Calypso coral, so I'm really pleased how that's turned out. So I hope you like those. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Um, if you go back, you will see the other cards that I've made. So I've got tutorials for these and these. Get a real production line going with these cards and you can get really a good few made um, in you know a, quite a short space of time. So I hope you like that. I'll be back again. So I've got six cards now. So I'm going to try and do another two this evening and another video made. Um, but in the meantime, I will see you all again soon. Bye bye.